The survey indicates that business activity in South Africa's private sector remained subdued in July due to lower sales and increased supply-side pressures. The S&P Global South Africa's Purchasing Managers Index inched up to 49.3 points last month, still below the growth threshold of 50 for the second consecutive month. Now, according to David Owen, a senior economist at S&P Global Market Intelligence, the private sector in South Africa experienced a decline in new orders and deteriorating supplier performance attributed to global transport challenges and domestic port congestion. Economics professor Walter Krichel provides sentiment on the situation. Though there is a lot of optimism about South Africa's economic prospects, it's not reflected in the economic indicators available in July. S&P Global's Purchasing Managers Index is still just below the neutral mark of 50 points. The index was weighed down by declining new sales orders and deteriorating supplier performance. The PMI by APSA and the Bureau of Economic Research focuses on the manufacturing sector only, and it increased to 52.4 points in July. Business activity and new sales increased, and the uncertainty that preceded the election seems to have disappeared. Here, suppliers did not cope with the increase in demand following months of slower activity. In both indices, businesses are optimistic about business conditions over the next six months. All in all, there's good reason to be optimistic.